Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Good afternoon, everyone. I just wanted to correct the record of uh, my colleague, Mr. Lamota. These immigrants uh, had no choice in where they ended up in, the, in this nation. They crossed the southern border, yes, but it was governors of, state and, uh, of, of the states of Texas and Florida that put these individuals on buses directed to Not New all. York City. So having said that, um, if we are currently, uh, as my colleague Rep. Correa demonstrated in his line of questioning, witnessing an unprecedented uh, human migration movement around the world of individuals seeking refuge, safety, and economic opportunity. Individuals are fleeing economic instability, governmental corruption and persecution, violence. Climate change has ravaged food and water supplies in their homes of origin. And this has been evident in many nations within the Western Hemisphere, and especially in the Caribbean, uh, in the uh, island nation of Haiti, as individuals have been enduring far more dangerous means and methods uh, to escape and to seek refuge um, here in the United States. This is not just a challenge for the United States, but a global challenge. And we must step up uh, to the plate to do our part. So my first question, uh, my only question, is to you, Ms. Acer. Would you agree that there is an unprecedented movement of vulnerable people in the Americas and worldwide? And can you speak about how that is affecting our border and how our government should work with regional partners to address this challenge? Yeah, absolutely. Um, there's been a significant increase in people fleeing, uh, fleeing from fleeing in search of protection in the Americas um, in recent years. There's also been a shift with increasing numbers, fleeing from Nicaragua, Venezuela, and Cuba. I'm sure some of you know, for example, about the crackdown on political opposition and faith groups in uh, Nicaragua, forcing many people to, to flee that country, for example. Uh, people who have fled from Venezuela are fl facing restrictions in some of the countries that they have been in, and they are seeking um, seeking safety and stability as well. So there's been major regional uh, shifts, but there's a lot that we can be doing and doing more of in the region. Um, incredibly important is to continue to support and support as best we can the frontline countries that are actually hosting the vast majority of refugees. I mentioned, for example, that Countries in Latin America and the Caribbean are hosting six out of the seven million Venezuelans who left their country. Um, it's certainly in the U.S. interest to continue to support those efforts. Critically important that we now have uh, a commitment to start long overdue resettlement from the region, from the Americas. That needs to be absolutely stepped up. And you mentioned the plight of Haitians who are facing such extreme dangers that the UN and the UN Refugee Agency said that it is too dangerous for people to be returned to Haiti right now. Um, so um, parole, for example, has been an incredible lifeline for some people from Haiti, but the parole processes are not as accessible as they should be for many people facing dire risks, and the numbers um, are too small. Uh, you know, there's really no way often for Haitians to actually flee in search of refuge. So uh, thank you so much for everything that, that some of you have been doing. I would really encourage bipartisan support uh, you know, for, um, the, for the programs that are helping refugees around the world, for the expansion of refugee resettlement uh, from the region, and for the, these very legal parole initiatives. And I'd like to uh, thank you for, for the work that you're doing. And uh, Mr. Chairman, uh, without objection, I'd like to enter this report led by the Haitian Bridge Alliance with input from Ms. Acer um, and Human Rights First, which documents their observations on the southern border following the end of Title 22. Without objection, And so I'd also ordered. like to just say that uh, for those who were Christians in the room, um, you know, uh, I just find it uh, very, uh, I guess, uh, disorienting uh, that um, we, we see suffering around us in, as a nation, one of the wealthiest in, in the hemisphere, and that today we sit here um, not looking for solutions, but creating problems. Uh, Jesus Christ was a refugee. I yield back. The gentlelady yields. I now recognize.